Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and hands-on impressions review of the Hollow Kit. This is a very low-cost, kind of DIY, build-it-yourself, uh, mixed reality headset in the same way that Google Cardboard was a low-cost VR headset. Mixed reality is kind of similar to augmented reality, where you have uh, virtual or digital items displaced onto the real world. So the benefits, uh, of course, is you can still see the, in the environment around you. You can physically walk around uh, and still not kind of run into a pole or run into a sign. But at the same time, you have elements of the digital world, such as animations, as well as avatars, maybe popped onto uh, the real streets that you walk on, which is a very cool concept. As a result, this is definitely a little bit more complicated to set up than something like cardboard. It has a few more kind of reflective lenses and prisms that are going on to reflect the screen on your smartphone. Uh, but the same concept you know, remains. You need to fold it up. You need to have a pre-existing smartphone for it to work. And the version that we have here, uh, there's a link in the description below. It can be obtained on Tiny Deal for under 20 bucks, uh, which again is very low cost for something like this that you can kind of play around with before deciding if you want to pick something more expensive up. Actually, I'm not exactly sure if there are you know, too many mixed reality headsets available at the moment. Uh, perhaps Microsoft has a few examples, but VR is still a little bit more popular at the moment. Uh, but you can download, again, games from the Google Play Store to get the most immersive uh, kind of experience. It has a 76 degree diagonal field of view, and then you can, again, have 3D holograms displaced into the real world. So before I try to assemble this and do a jump cut back to some demonstrations, I'll mention that it fits uh, phones up to six inch displays. So if you have a larger device, unfortunately it might be tougher to fit in here unless you have a bezel-less uh, phone. Everything here is made out of cardboard, so it's not going to be waterproof. It's not a long-term solution, but certainly something that's good enough for developers or at least first-time consumers to play around with it uh, to see if you know VR or, or AR uh, and mixed reality in this case uh, is worth it for them to investigate further. It looks like there's a few kind of protective films. After wrestling with the assembly, which took about five minutes to complete, uh, we're done. Uh, basically, you just follow kind of the folds and the three on tape to put everything together, but it is a slightly more complicated than cardboard, but not by too much. There is actually a Velcro uh, kind of strap on the top. This is actually where you open up the lid and then put in your phone into kind of this prism. Uh, it's really just using clever optics and, and physics for everything to work here. It's basically uh, reflecting your display in a way that it makes the screen and whatever is on your display seem like it's transparent or holographic. And then from there, you can basically look into it and you can kind of still see, of course, the world, but of course, with the digital filter kind of uh, in a floating holographic way. It's actually pretty cool, uh, both in concept at and uh, also in practice, which is impressive at this low price. But again, it really is just using optics to reflect the screen and make it into a transparent display. Um, so anyways, this is where the phone fits, again, up to six inch devices. Uh, you do have to remove all the films on the mirrors and on the, on the optics and the lenses before you assemble everything, so make sure you do that. Uh, one of the things that I will point out though is for everything to work correctly, that means you do have to keep all the filters, you do need to keep kind of all the lens, the mirrors, uh, as as well as kind of the reflective kind of optics on all the sides to be clean. So if it gets too dusty or if you kind of smudge it with your fingers, you have to clean it off using a cloth. Same thing with your display. It needs to be uh, relatively clean. It also need, should be turned up to maximum brightness if you want to get the most convincing effect. Uh, before I launch into kind of a, a quick demo of this, uh, or do the best job that I can since it's a little hard to do using a camera, so we can see VR as kind of this closed off system. We see that uh, augmented reality is digital content on top of your real world versus mixed reality, which is digital content interacts with your real world. So that's interesting. Um, perhaps that means that mixed reality, since it's using your smartphone, and you, if you have the compatible games and apps, you're able to control it using the accelerometer, the tilt, or the remote. And so you are able to move around, and then the digital elements in the real world will work and move as well, versus augmented reality, which is just the digital on top of the real world, but you can't actually interact with the digital. So very similar, but uh, it seems like mixed reality is the next step. And uh, 
you know, you do get slightly less immersiveness, but that's kind of the point. If you're watching a movie, VR is still going to be the best. If you're gaming, maybe this is going to be the best. But if you're kind of uh, looking for demonstrations, if you're using it for business purposes, maybe some type of a future games where you also want to interact with the real world, like Pokemon Go, then mixed reality definitely does have a pretty good convincing direction. As far as compatibility is concerned, uh, this you know device does work, as you can see here, with most 3D VR apps. Um, but instead of being completely immersed in that 3D VR uh, black box theater, all of a sudden the 3D content is also in the real world. Um, so that's a real difference, but most of those games and apps and pre-existing content will still work uh, on this already. But in addition to those to those uh, pre-existing games, you can also take a look at uh, kind of specific mixed reality content, uh, perhaps the uh, ARK kit by Apple, AR Core, which is kind of this open source uh, solution, and of course Google Tango uh, as kind of a mixed reality format for Android. So all of these kind of developer uh, and new apps coming out will be compatible with this first mixed reality helmet that is uh, made out of cardboard. We've loaded up a VR game, this is Jurassic VR, onto the uh, phone, which is again technically tucked away at this angle right now uh, with the Velcro strap, and now you can just hold it and kind of interact with the content. You can see that the virtual screen on the inside is definitely dimmer than on a traditional VR hel uh, helmet, just because you know there is a transparent filter, and so the screen is naturally not going to be quite as bright, but it's still reasonably visible. And even if I'm outdoors or right now, there's a kind of studio light shining on top of this uh, device, you can still see it, which is uh, you know pretty impressive. Every Everything remains fully accessible. The virtual screen, I would say, it's, it seems like it's hovering about uh, three feet in front of your eyes, and um, it's slightly distorted at the edges or curved, just maybe because of the opt optics on here aren't 100% calibrated, but overall it's convincing enough. Uh, right now in this particular app, the entire shape of the object is, you can see, a box because it's meant as kind of this theater experience, so it's not quite as realistic looking as maybe a specific AR app where you have just a figure or a person highlighted and so instead of having a box it's going to be the specific shape of an object and that might seem a little bit more real in AR or VR. The most important thing is that you do need to have the uh, phone's display on maximum brightness and afterwards you can interact with the game just by tilting you know your phone's display uh, and so on and so forth. Obviously uh, AR and V and AR and, and mixed reality are still at relatively early stages in their development so they're uh, specific games and apps are still a little rare. We're waiting for the software to catch up, uh, but this is certainly a step in the right direction and it's probably going to get a lot more exciting and useful uh, in the coming uh, months as well as in the coming years. Um, for now though, there are a few pre-existing notable uh, AR slash mixed reality apps and some of them require the use of uh, QR codes as well as other objects. So in that sense, uh, you can see how the phone's camera is still uncovered, not covered up in this design. And what that means is if you have kind of a QR code on top of a card, uh, the camera is able to scan that as part of the app and then displace a digital object based on where the QR code is or whatever the code is programmed to take you uh, to, a, to a URL or to some type of address. So for instance, if you're looking at digital advertising, there might be a QR code that uh, you can scan with the phone and all of a sudden the poster will transform into a physical chair or so or a bed that you want to buy and you have a better idea by walking around. But obviously that's still you know, a few months as well as a few years in the future, uh, at the moment it's still a little bit rare to see that type of uh, content in the in the Play Store existing. Uh, but you can play around with Tango apps, you can play around with some of these uh, hologram apps. Uh, some of them are seem to be more catered towards iOS rather than Google Play uh, or Android at the moment, but hopefully that will change again as developers jump onto mixed reality and AR. For right now though, it is a very fun way to play around with content and uh, Again, most of the pre-existing apps will work, but if you want to get the most out of the mixed reality experience, including the use of the camera, the use of the motion, and the use of all these senses, then that will require probably more development uh, as more games and apps become available. But already it's a very cool idea and something that you can see is uh, 
quite different from something like uh, VR helmets that we've seen in the past. At this low price point, I think it's definitely something that you can play around with and pick up maybe as a gift in this holiday season. We'll be doing some more testing and come out with a more complete uh, article soon on our website, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This was our hands-on impressions review of the Hollow Kit uh, Mixed Reality Cardboard uh, Headset. Uh, you can find this again in the links down below. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.